Okay, I wanted to do a quick tutorial that shows you a three column layout using um, CSS, Cascading Style Sheets. And I've taken this example from uh, Flexible Web Design, Creating Liquid and Elastic Layouts with CSS by Zoe Mickley uh, Gillenwater. And uh, what's great about this type of uh, elastic CSS fluid design is if you change the uh, dimensions, it um, it maintains the three columns, right? So they're not in fixed positions or absolute positioning. They're fluid and kind of, um, it's kind of a fluid design here. So I can show you how this is done. Um, I'm just following, I'm not a CSS expert, but I'm following along with this book by Gillenwater Flexible Web Design. And I just thought I'd show you some basics of it. It's pretty cool. So, first of all, um, this is the uh, CSS. Uh, you probably saw it looks a lot like the CSS from the last tutorial. But if you scroll down here a little bit, you'll see here these div areas. We added one key one here, which is um, content dash wrapper. And this is a wrapper div that is going to contain the main and the secondary div within it. Okay, and this content wrapper div is floated to the right side, so it's going to go to the right side of the browser window, and it's going to take up 75% of the width of the browser window. And its background color right now is solid green. Now, to see this wrapper, and to see that this wrapper wraps both the main content area and the secondary content area, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off the background colors here by commenting them out. Once again, I'm not an expert at CSS, but I thought that I could at least kind of show you how this works. It's really cool. Okay, so now that I've done that, I've taken away the background colors for the main and the secondary. I'm going to save it. File, save. And now, in the browser window, the indexed HTML file, if I refresh it, you'll see that the two colors, the colors for the main and for the secondary, have disappeared, leaving the green color of the wrapper. So the wrapper area covers 75% of the browser window, and inside of it is two columns, the main content area and the secondary content area. And that is really cool. So I can show you that if I go back to Komodo Edit here, and I'm looking at the template 2.css file that I created that how's that that this content wrapper floats right at 75% of the window then the main content area it floats left within the wrapper and it takes up 75% of the width of the wrapper since it's inside the wrapper then the secondary content area this is the the far the column on the far right it has a margin on the left side 75% to make room for the middle or the main content area which is 75% wide. So this margin left makes room for the width of the main of content main. So content secondary has a margin to make room for the width of content main. And now all I need to do to show you that if I turn back on these colors, you'll see there's the color coming back for content main and hit file save and refresh here and you see there it is there's the color there right you see the green is behind it essentially and then here I'll turn this back on and hit file save and here, if I hit refresh, you'll see that the color shows up here on the secondary column, and once again, the green goes behind. All right, no big whoop. Okay, the last bit is this template2.css file is an external CSS file being called by index2.html. Here is the HTML. This is that same file in a browser window. This is my index2.html file in a browser window. This is my index2.html file in Komodo Edit, where I can look at the code. So let's take a look at it. Here 
is the first div tag for the header, right? All it has is an opening tag and an end tag, and it says this is my header. Here is the wrapper div, and you'll see here that if I highlight the whole thing, it starts here, div id equals content dash wrapper, right? And then the end tag for it is way down here, end div. But within it, within this, within that wrapper div is the content main div right there, and the content secondary div right there. And now of course, you know, I've got some uh, lorem ipsum Latin to just hold space, to put text in there to, to hold up space, right? So you see here that um, this content wrapper div has two nested divs within it that are nested inside. So obviously creating a wrapper. So if you want to, if you look at this, the logic behind this window, you've got a two column layout to begin with, which is the left column and the wrapper column. And then within the wrapper column, you've got another two columns, this left one and this one here. So total all day, you have three columns. And that is a three column layout um, with, um, with CSS and it's uh, resizable. You'll see that no matter what you do, the left column maintains 25%, the uh, wrapper column maintains 75%, and then inside of the wrapper column, you've got the blue main content area, which is 75% of the wrapper column, and then the leftover is 25%, and it scales efficiently, so you could design your um, website for a fluid layout, and that's what's so cool about a fluid layout with CSS. And um, so uh, anyway, this is, uh, to show you the most of the code here, you've got the, the uh, divs here, one, two, three, four, five, six divs total, and one of those is a wrapper div. And then the template.css file here. All right, I'll show you some more CSS in the next video.